Hey y'all, so this happened. Yep, we went on our first camping trip. <clears throat> yay! Yay us, yay me for, you know, doing all the hitching up and hooking up on my own. And I apologize for not videotaping it. I had fully intended to do it and I didn't only because I wanted to make sure I did it correctly. I didn't want to record anything that I jacked up. So um, my apologies, but the next camping trip, I will definitely record because I also wanted to do a tour of the inside of, you know, on, you know, what I did, <clears throat> you know, kind of my little re redecorating kind of touches that I did on it. But <clears throat> I'm still very proud of us. We went on our first camping trip. Everything went good aside from like a few dramas. Uh, but yeah, we went to um, a park in Kerrville. I think it's state. No, I think she said it was a city park. Anyway, a friend of ours invited us to a camping trip. So what happened was, um, before the whole coronavirus, they had their reservations. And then corona happened and a lot of her friends backed out. So um, she had all, you know, she had some sites uh, reserved. So, and what the park did was they... Um, gave the uh, people who made reservations prior um, they allowed them to come in which was awesome because the park was pretty much dead there were very few RVers there and so it was awesome you know we we didn't really have anybody next to us for like the three or four sites down and behind us there were only a couple of people so it was it was awesome you know especially because we have kids they're loud you know blah 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 but um, our first, uh, drama and, um, so, so much happened on our trip. Um, all in all, it was great. It was fun. We'll do it again. Um, but let me just say that for anybody who, um, knows how to back up a trailer or a camper or anything, <clears throat> kudos to you, dude, I I I've already, I said it before. I can't do it. I need to learn how to do it. Um, I am looking for RV sites that are pull through, drive through, because I for the simple fact that I can't. So everything went good. We prepared ourselves, and I'll show you guys, you know, some stuff that we that I did to prepare. But um, other than that, everything was pretty straightforward. You know, before we went. So got everything together, hitched up perfectly. Jeanette helped me back it up. Um, we went uh, to go to the facility. We got the camper, hooked, hooked it up or whatever. Got the GPS started. So we're heading out. Well, I must have taken a wrong turn or forgot an exit or I don't know what. So my intention was to do a U-turn, a U-turn to, you know, go back to wherever, you know, back on, on track. Well, I turned off and turned into a street and it was a freaking dead end so it was a dead end but it was you know um a t so you know like there's a street here and then there's a street here and this was the dead end right here anyway for a normal person who knows how to back up a trailer <clears throat> would have been simple just you know drive into this road back it up and then head back out well i'm not a typical person and Every time I tried to to stir the steer it the way I wanted to go, it would go. It wouldn't go where I wanted it to go. And my, I know my dad told me to turn the wheel the opposite way you want your trailer to go. Well, I kept doing that, but it wouldn't do it. And like the slightest movement of your truck, it you know it it moves it. Like even going straight back, I just anyway, I was having a hard time. So there was a construction site that was right there and had this huge mound of dirt. And I, okay, I thought, all right, so let me go into the drive, drive into where the construction site is and then drive around that huge mound. 
well no the mound was too big and I I could we couldn't drive around it so here I am stuck between in this construction construction site with this huge mound of dirt and then behind us is this grassy knoll kind of like ditch oh my god I almost wanted to cry I I I could it I didn't I got myself in this predicament I didn't know how to back out I think there was like even a police substation and you know construction workers I'm sure nearby I was even thinking you know what I'm just gonna sit here and wait till some man comes out and have him you know do it for me but Jeanette you know was like okay let me get out and little by little inch by inch she directed me front and back front and back finally I was able to kind of just do a big turn and get out finally I was like free I I, I Oh my god! I almost had a heart attack. Total drama. I, I don't know. If it's I know. I know chicks can do this. I know girls can. I mean, pull horse trailers and you know, and pull campers. It, it, it's just I need to learn and I have to practice. I know and I will. So onward. So we finally head out to the site, which was awesome. Um, we were parked next to our friends. Um, we It was awesome, nice, open space, um, lots of trees. Um, we also had access to a river. So if you had, you know, if you had a site, then you had um, access to the river. So um, that was great too. So uh, first night was awesome. You know, we set up, we put everything outside, set up our tables, you know, all that good stuff. Kids had a blast. It, it was awesome. So, um, second, uh, drama that happened was this. Yes, a rainstorm. So, this was, you know, your typical storm. Thunder, lightning, um, wind, what have you. And we had our canopy out on our pop-up. So a friend of mine, uh, our friend that was next to us asked, you know, hey, do you guys have any rope? I'll tie down the canopy just to keep it, you know, a little sturdy and, you know, doesn't, you know, uh, move up and down, all that kind of good stuff. So what she did was she tied it to the picnic table. She tied it down to the picnic table, you know, just to give it a little strength and, you know, hopefully, you know, give the pop-up a little strength as well. So the winds, I believe, got up to 60 miles per hour. So we did pretty good. Um, this was actually a test for our pop-up because we got it new. We really didn't know if there were any leaks anywhere, or, you know, anything like that. So this was really a test for our pop-up, which passed through flying with flying colors. There were no leaks, uh, no rain coming inside whatsoever. So it was pretty windy um, and the kids were scared a little bit. Uh, the lightning was in, you know, thunder, pretty loud so what I did is I just put Netflix on and I kind of just um uh raised the volume and they lay down and you know they kind of watched a movie and slowly you know crashed as it you know it just continued it just started you know just, it was just rain so that was you know a little bit more soothing than the thunder and the lightning along with it so that was fine so next day beautiful day it was awesome um we had a family come in for the day and um, stay with us and we did uh, the river the kids swam a little bit uh, here's some pictures and stuff of what what we did
kids loved it. It was, it was fun. And then we came back and we did uh, water balloons and I bought the kids like some squirt guns and you know, all that good stuff. We barbecued, we did, you know, s'mores, all the good camping stuff, fun, fun, fun. So, um, oh, there's a beautiful red cardinal. Uh, so anyway, uh, after that, um, we, I think we, we finally, you know, winded, started to wind down, started to pack, you know, you know, get to get ready for the night and we get like, um, another, uh, um, not warning, but you know, a news or we were watching the weather actually because there was another storm coming in. So, and this is on Memorial weekend. So, and we left what I left Friday after work. And so, uh, you know, we got there pretty early cause I wanted to set up when it wasn't as hot and all that, all that stuff. So we were there from Friday and, you know, had to check out Monday. So then this happens, the next storm. So yes, guys, another storm, and this one was worse. To make a long story short, uh, not that we had to abandon ship, but the winds were so bad <clears throat> that we we had left the, we left the canopy out. Um, we should have taken it down, but we didn't. So Jeanette and I had to rush outside while it was raining really hard, thunder, lightning, because the canopy was just going up and down. And so we, you know, untied it, took off the lights and what have you, and as we're, we're holding it because the end part is metal, um, it, the wind is just kicking it up. It's actually kind of like thrashing Jeanette and I back and forth. And so, and the thing is, is that we have to roll it up all the way up back to the roof. Well, we can't, you know, we are short and our pop-up roof is pretty high. So there was no way that we were gonna be able to roll it back up. So our friend came over <clears throat> after they finished doing, tying down their stuff she came over and she's like, um, well, I'll just tie it to the, to the pop-up and you guys get inside. I'll tie it to the pop-up and then, you know, we'll take care of it. Like, you know, okay. Well then I guess she thought, you know what? And I thought, I think at the same time, but what if there's like a, you know, what if we have to evacuate or what do we, we have to get out? We won't be able to get out because you tied the, the canopy against the pop-up. So that was a no-go. <clears throat> so we're trying to figure out what to do. Um, then it started to rip and so we just kind of made the executive decision to just rip it off or cut it off so our friend got her knife and she just tore the you know canopy off and we just threw it aside we went inside it started to get worse and then counties surrounding counties got a <clears throat> a, a tornado warning and that kind of scared us even more you know the camper started to shake kind of back and forth because of the wind it was so bad um, we ended up going into the truck. Um, we stayed in the truck and then we thought, well, what if we get a tornado warning? Where is our shelter? Where are we going to go? We ended up driving to the little bathhouse, um, shower, bathroom area or thing that they have there. And um, we parked on the outside while the kids were on the inside. We were listening to the weather. The warning wasn't going to go away until midnight or one. Although the tornado warning wasn't in the county we were in, we were still getting the, that weather, the really, really bad weather. And there was no way that we could stay in the truck with the kids until midnight or one. I mean, it was only eight o'clock. They were already scared. So we just kind of decided, you know what, we'll just find a hotel. Our friend told us, you know what, I'll watch your pop up if y'all want to go home. But I didn't want to drive in that weather. But we told her, no, we don't, we're going to decide we're just going to get a hotel for the night just so the kids can be feel safe and, you know, they won't have to sleep under in the, the truck. So I found a, uh, a La Quinta um, pretty close. Uh, the guy was really nice, gave us a discount, and um, we went back to the pop-up, gathered some stuff real quick, locked it up, and just headed out. And, like, literally when we were heading out, trees were still falling, limbs were falling, all that kind of good stuff. So we got to La Quinta, checked in, everybody, we got settled, we ordered the kids pizza, they seemed to, you know, they seemed to be okay, and we just finally crashed. Next day was checkout, which was Memorial Day, 
everything was soaking. So, you know, and the canopy was discarded. So kept some of the pieces, threw away the actual canopy part. So yeah, all, I mean, it, I mean, it was an adventure. We can say that oh, we did survive it, but um, it was pretty scary for a little bit and the kids were pretty scared, but it didn't deter them. We, we, um, they still want to go camping. We still love it. Um, we're, we're going to do it again. It's just, you know, some, now that we, now we know better rain is something different, but when it comes to a thunderstorm and the winds and stuff, well, you know, we have to take precautions, but all in all, it was great. We loved it. We're going to do it again. So I hope to, uh, record, I promise I'll record our next trip. Um, now that I know everything, um, as I start accumulating stuff and, you know, maybe I'll videotape what I start purchasing, but I am going to have a, a, a little video toward the end and show you some of the things. Uh, a few things that, that we got, you know, initially for our first trip. And then on the side note, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember, but in the very, for me, uh, in the very beginning of me starting this um, journey of doing um, a YouTube channel, I did say that I wanted to start uh, doing some segments or some stories on our adoption um, process and our journey with our babies and, you know, uh, how we, how we got every, everything started and, you know, I don't know if I'm going to do the kids individually or if we'll, I'll combine it. I don't know. We'll see. But I hope to start that soon. And I, I hope to do, you know, our adoption stories somewhere, you know, soon in here. But um, thanks, guys, for um, staying tuned and subscribing and liking and sharing and what have you. Uh, stay tuned because I do have the little, the, the, um, the items that I bought. And I'll put what they are and um, a link to them, I guess, in the description if you guys are interested in getting them. And I will talk to y'all soon. Thanks for uh, staying tuned. And I love y'all. Y'all take care. Bye. Hey, y'all. So these are the two items that I got off of Amazon. And I got one more thing that I'll show you in just a minute. So this is called RV Media. And this is a Bluetooth speaker with a light at the bottom. I don't think it's going to come Oh, yeah. See? You can see it. There's a button on the side. And it's pretty cool. So you can have music, obviously, on the outside of your um, RV. And... Um, it hooks up to your outdoor light that you already had out here. And then the other thing I got was this cool um, handle because of obvious reasons um, we have kids and the step out is pretty steep. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's a small one, you just lift it and then you put it down and it snaps back down and it closes just like that. So, and then the other thing I got from Amazon were these cool little collapsible baskets for the inside and I'll show you that in just a bit. So this is the other cute thing that I bought, or not cute, actually practical. I bought from um, Amazon. It's these collapsible bins. I'm sorry, I, what we've been doing is, is as we figure out what we need or if we find something cool that we could probably use for the pop-up, um, we, we buy it, obviously, if it's on sale or whatever. You know, like a spatula, I mean, yeah. This, we did not have. We had um, stick uh, matches. So, you know, and um, I found this as well. It's five in one um, shampoo, conditioner, body face, and deodorizer. Can you believe that? And I heard that this is kind of good for like mosquitoes and stuff. But anyway, it smells good and it's five in one. So you don't have to like, you know, pack, um, you know, all those things individually. So that's, uh, I got that. Anyway, so this is the cutest thing that I got, and it's collapsible. See, you push this side up. I don't think I can do it with one hand, though. You push this side up, and then you push this side up, and then it collapses and it goes flat. So we got these for the inside or the outside, whatever, but to put our, um, our like our bread and our... Um, you know, treats and snacks and chips and stuff. So, and they stack. So we got that from Amazon as well. I don't know if y'all want to see what I got, but you know, I got these, they're called Gorilla Ties. Pretty cool. These were at, um, where were these at? Uh, I don't remember the store, but I saw them and they were like in the clearance section. I figured, well, we could possibly use those at, um, the camper if we ever need it. And then we got these. I bought these at the family dollar, I believe. I needed somewhere. Well, so what happens is when the kids are outside and they want to come into the camper, I really don't want them bringing in their shoes. So they kind of piled up in the front of the pop-up by the steps, which is fine, but overnight or what have you I don't want um 
like, you know, snakes to get into it and or scorpions or what have you. So they could throw their shoes in here and we could leave this outside. And the netting's pretty small. So, I mean, I don't really think, I mean, whatever bug is that tiny can get in there. So I figured that that would be a good place. And if, you know, if I need to bring in the shoes, I just haul in this whole thing. So I bought two of them. This one is actually for our dirty clothes. So we were stacking our dirty clothes and I figured I would just put them in a bag, but I figured I might as well just get another one for all of our, um, our dirty clothes. So when we come back, we'll have somewhere to put them. And then Jeanette found a wooden spoon and she found a spatula, both Cuisinart. And what else did I get? I found um, these cute straws. They're just, you know, the little, you know, silicone straws for our um, Yetis. And then I think that's it. But yeah, um, I bought this along with the handle for the pop-up and um, the speaker. I kind of got them all at the same time. And I'll share the description and I'll share what they are in the bottom. If you guys are interested in buying them from Amazon, I'll put them down below in the description. Um, but I, I kind of think that's it. If I see anything else or share or find anything else that I purchased, I will share it with you guys here.